everyone and welcome back to my channel. It is Stephanie of Geeky Planning back at it again for another video. In today's video we will be planning out the week of September 27th through October 3rd using this kit from Creativity and Ink. Gorgeous, stunning, beautiful, the start of a spoopy season in my fandom planner. So I did pick up the glitter headers a la carte and then also I have these um, like checklist things that came with the kit itself. So then these are the full boxes and I did pick this up last year and I feel like you can tell that because it is starting to shrink a little bit and you can see that in between like the full boxes and stuff. Um, but I knew I was going to save it for this planner because this is this is all things like magical and stuff and this is like the most magical a kit can be for spoopy season. Um, and then so these are all of the like functional boxes and stuff. The sidebar stuff, weekend banner, all that fun stuff, and then date covers, bottle washi, build dues, and some extra boxes. And because this is spooky season, we're going to change things up just a little bit. So just how I did for like my birthday month, wherever April is, April is like in the very beginning of this guy, um, we will be doing like some bougie type stuff. So you can see this one has bougie boxes, and then... <laughs> this one has bougie boxes as well and we're probably just going to continue that honestly until the end of the year because typically I do bougie spreads in my or when I started doing bougie spreads because they were like the fancy type of plan with me to me or planner spreads to me I would do them in April for my birthday month and then October through the end of the year because spooky season and Christmas season are like my favorite times so we're going to continue doing that in this planner really quickly let me go ahead and just show you guys this last week's yeah last week's spread it literally looks exactly the same i haven't put a single thing in here because this is like super in advance um let me see if i can go to today's spread um so i am filming this on july the 27th so quite a bit in advance but there you go that is those were the two spread two spreads Jeez Louise, I cannot talk so let's go ahead and just get on started as per usual i think i'm just gonna like close this guy in half we might be doing things just a little bit differently just because I don't really know like how I want to do this spread yet like I know I want it to be bougie and I know I'm gonna have a lot of trouble trying to figure out like where I can put full boxes and stuff because like I've been trying to do in my past couple of um spreads um, I only want to put full boxes on days that I don't have any classes. Um, so we're going to see if I can continue that on through this planner. Also, sorry if you guys can hear the clouds, an airplane, something flying off in the distance. Um, hopefully that's not super like terrifying or anything. Um, and I'm also just now realizing that I have not put any date dots down, so that's fun. We'll probably wait to do that until like the very end of this spread. Um, but yeah, also like because I am filming this in July, it is hot as heck in California. Um, so I do have a fan pointing at my feet like as I am filming this. So hopefully that's not like super bothersome and you guys can't hear it that much. Um, I want to say the last time I kept my fan on while I was filming the like these live action -y type spreads. Did I do this backwards? I feel like it's backwards. So I did it. Okay, we're good. Um, yeah, I feel like the last time I had a fan pointed, it was like on a chair pointing towards my face. So you could hear it kind of a lot in like the background of the camera. So hopefully that's not the case this time. Okay, so now moving on to the sidebar. So part of me wants to use like one of these three and the rest of me is like, no, use like this one or this one. So I think we're going to go with this one because this is like the most spooky box out of all of them. Um, so it only makes the most sense. This one is the one that makes the most sense. I don't think that sentence made any sense. Um, and then I think, yeah, so we're going to put all of the like sidebar-y type stuff in here as well. Okay. And then I am pulling in this green 5mm tape from Creativity and Ink. And then I have my handy dandy washi cutter from Her Magical Mailer. This is from the um, 
Toy Story themed subscription box. And then this 5mm tape is from last year, her Halloween 5mm bundle. I think it came with like a black, this green, an orange, and a yellow. And honestly, I could have pulled in any of those colors into this spread and they would have been absolutely gorgeous, stunning, beautiful either way. But I just figured that like this green is the least used one out of all the colors that I have from that bundle um so I figured I might as well use this one because I feel like the black is pretty standard like I can literally just use that with anything and then um the like orange is like I can totally use that for like the fall time and then the purple I've surprisingly been, been pulling in a lot in like the princessy type spreads because for whatever reason purple is a very royal color um but yeah where did I leave off on this guy? Cool, cool, cool. I also feel like I missed something entirely in this side or because I feel like I have way too much space for like a box to go in here. But you know what? Whatever. That's fine. Um, let's see what kind of a box. I feel like that one would be too big. We could do like a bow box but I feel like that's too small. Can we do a quarter box? I feel like this pattern quarter box would look really cute but is it will it fit there is the question. I also put this side right on so crooked and you're gonna be able to see that with the quarter box trying to align those two. Sometimes I feel like I should start just in one direction and go all the way down but also I feel like I need to do it in both of them and just kind of meet in the middle but it never really works out the way I want it to and you can always tell how crooked everything is and that's another thing I noticed like with this planner I didn't really realize how crooked I lay stickers down until I started planning with this guy um because I feel like this planner is more so on the like try to just put everything down as fast as possible and hope for the best kind of a thing and I honestly thought like at the beginning of the year when I started doing these spreads like filmed and stuff um that what was going that like these videos would all be like hours and hours long just because I assumed that that's how long it takes for me to plan like if it takes me an hour to do a memory spread it would probably take me like an hour to do one of these spreads but it only takes like 20 minutes which is kind of fun um so there is that and i think i'm gonna lift this guy a little bit but not like a lot because i was gonna put it on just like the bottom section but i figured like, the patterns are kind of the same so better not and now to figure out the color of the ombre heart checklist so i think i want this green one in the middle because it's already one of the date cover colors so I don't really want it to be like too much and I also feel like I have to do this like no white spacey style because I feel like it would look kind of weird to have some space in between the header and the checklist and then like no space in the bougie section. I don't think that that made any sense. We're just going to put this guy down right here because it's where it would go anyways and then we're just going to continue on with the rest of the colors and I also feel like this little checklist is going to be able to tell you is going to show more just how good everything is I don't think any of my sentences have made any sense so far but you know that's fine we're fine uh, yeah okay cool cool um, so yeah, hi, hello, how are you guys? Hopefully the start of your spooky season has been a good one. I feel like this spooky season is going to be a little bit weird. I don't even know if weird is the right way to say it. And I feel like I'm also speaking way too in advance because like I said, like I'm in July when I'm filming this and you guys are watching this in August. Or not in August, in October. Honestly, I might as well just be in August because that's only like three days away. And I feel like the month of July was just such a like crapper um so it is currently july what did i say the 27th and i still have my june calendar up on my whiteboard just because i feel like that i keep saying i feel like obviously i feel like it's me my opinions um but i was saying that um what was i saying 
that like this month was just super crazy in terms of like school and stuff because I was in a summer session type class just because it was a lot cheaper <laughs> to take them this year because everything was still online and so far everything is scheduled to be in person which I have said many a times that I'm not the biggest fan of um, just because I really like online because like it was very much so like an at your own pace kind of a thing which I feel like it can be a good thing and, and a bad thing like I like in-person classes because I for sure listen to lectures a lot more than I do online um it's really hard for me to concentrate <laughs> on the like virtual lectures when I have like my laptop with all of, like my class stuff on this same tiny desk and then I have like my planner right next to me and then I have like so many things open at once and that's another thing like I don't know how functional this planner is going to be once I'm actually in school hopefully I can do some sort of update when like if I have any plan with me's left to film in this planner um but I feel like this planner was super functional while I wasn't in classes um uh, I need like a header to go over this guy so I think we're just gonna take this matching green one that's like a washi strip and not actually a header to just go over here and then this one needs a full box so that's gonna be the fun part um, but I was saying, not necessarily like while I wasn't in school, but like while my classes were online, like I can have this planner open and check things off and stuff. And I won't be taking this to school with me because it, it's too heavy. I just wouldn't want to. So I know, I don't think I want to use the Happy Halloween one because like Halloween isn't in this week. But I feel like this one is too cute to not use. So we're just going to stick this one down here. And then, so there's like a yellow one, some pattern ones, and some green ones. So I think I want to also use... Okay, so legitimately I have no idea where my camera cut me off, but I was just talking about school and stuff. Um, so I'm just going to keep putting these guys down. Um, so now into like the more hard part. I feel like figuring out where to put the bougie is going to be a little bit more difficult. So I think on the days that like don't have any full boxes, it'll be relatively easy because I can just like put one at the top and then put one at the bottom and then the middle section is going to be what's a little bit harder to figure out, like this little middle section. Um, so I think we're just going to go ahead and do that. But I was saying that this planner has mostly only been functional for me because like while I am schooling basically like my whole life is conducted from this desk um it's really easy for me to just like open it check something off close it open it write something on like a different day I, like this is constantly open i have a little stand next to me um where i just put this guy on it um and it's been super functional for me that way so i'm just really scared nervous i don't even know what the right word is um i'm just gonna say scared that this planner won't be functional once it's like not constantly in my sight if that makes any sense um but i mean i guess the good thing is like if i'm only at school three out of seven days a week I could at least have this be functional for me on the four days that I'm not like physically away from it. Um, but I don't know. We'll, we'll see how that goes. I highly doubt that I'll be able to do like an update of if this was functional at any point. Um, just because like I do have planned to film Ev like every spread in this planner before I start school again in September so we'll see if I actually like follow through with that um because obviously like I would like to <laughs> um because it's another thing that I've noticed like I feel like if I um where with this okay because we're just gonna put this guy down right here and we'll leave some space so I can put something over top of that where we don't even know how it's gonna go um but yeah, my camera has cut me off like 12 times because it's telling me that it's dying this whole time. Um, but you know, whatever, that's fine. Um, I forget where I was going with that. 
Oh yeah, but anyways, this planner has been like the most functional for me because I've been putting the stickers down super in advance. So A, like I don't have to worry about whether spreads are filled out when I want to go and put something down. Like currently in July, I can write something in September and it's completely fine. Like I don't have to worry about like, oh no, like that spread isn't filled out yet. I don't know where I'm going to be able to put it, blah, 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 blah. Um, and usually I only do that for like concrete things. Um, like if I have a doctor's appointment, chances are that's not going to change. So I can go ahead and just put that down whenever the doctor's appointment takes place or, you know, stuff like that. So I don't know. I'm really excited to have like this whole planner filled out. And also like she's already pretty chunky. Um, and it's only going to get chunkier because this is going to be like double the stickers and what it's normally used to. So I don't need this shit anymore. I don't need this one and I don't need this one. Okay, so now on to the more fun type of stuff. And I did leave like some blanks in the bougie sections just because I figured like I'm probably... Um, going to like put some stuff down there anyways so i could just cover up those white spaces with like a box or something so i think first off i need to use something to mark my videos and as per usual i do still try to do a thursday no tuesday thursday saturday type upload so we're just going to go ahead and put that down first and then I also want to use a half box on every single day so I think we're just gonna put these guys down like pretty willy-nilly randomly and I'm gonna put something on top of this one and then we'll put a half box at the bottom and then we'll try to put another half box over here those are the same pattern but i think that should be fine it should be fine and then we'll take this orangey one it's a lot of orange together but i don't want to take the purple one because that seems even worse somehow um i guess we could just center that one right there and then we'll take this purple one and stick it over here okay Cool, so that took care of like most of that stuff. And then I also feel like I need to look at this page. Um, so I have these three guys left. And I feel like one of them fits. The only option is this orange one to cover up this like pretty ginormo section. And then we'll worry about that later. And then the same thing with this guy. I feel like this green one fits pretty nicely to cover up that chunk of space, even though it's kind of a lot of green. And then We'll just stick this one down on the Sunday because there is literally nothing over there. Okay, cool, cool. And then I also want to make sure that I use one of these every single day. So I think that's what we'll do next. We're just going to take this guy, stick it down right there. And then we'll just follow the order of the colors and put these guys down on Monday through Friday, even though following the orders of the colors is probably not the best thing if I'm gonna be doing that for all of the stickers, but you know, whatever, that's fine. Cool, cool. Okay, so now is like the awkward gap part. So I know I also want to use all of these guys, but I need any other white spacey things to be covered. So I think we're going to take this green polka dotty one. Hopefully this one fits like semi-perfectly on top of this guy. Oh, 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 oh. Don't stick down, don't stick down. Okay, that ripped up a lot of the paper. But it's fine. You, you can't even really tell, so it's fine. Okay, and now we're just going to stick these boxes. I guess we'll skip Sunday. And we're just going to put these guys down randomly. Sorry for flipping you off. Totally non-intentional. And we're just going to stick them down in the middle of the day. That way I can like choose whatever side I may or may not want an icon to go on. And so for this Wednesday is like super booked with purple. So we're going to need to like figure out how to change that. And then this Tuesday. Okay, so Tuesday is a full. So that's fun. Um, yeah. I feel like the washi keeps coming up, so 
we're just going to try to ignore that as much as we possibly can. So I forgot what I was talking about before this, but I feel like it was something semi-related to my life. Okay, so part of me thinks that this was a terrible idea to like just kind of go randomly and see where things fit, but the rest of me is like, no, you're cool. Like, we're fine. Um, so we're just going to see how this actually ends up going. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, hopefully, I think it was going on like four different tangents on like very different things um I want to say one of the things that I was talking about was how like this Halloween season is probably going to be really different um so so far when I am filming this the Rona is very much so still a thing and I'm pretty sure I've said this before but it could be like totally completely wrong um but like my estimate in March of 2020 when like all of this started being a thing was that like the Rona would not end until October of 2021 and anytime I said that everybody was like why are you such a pessimist like you shouldn't say things like that blah 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 and now I'm just like haha ha, jokes on you like turns out I was actually pretty accurate um and like my reasoning for that originally was because people are dumb and they don't listen to, you know, medical professionals um, or follow any of the advice that said medical professionals are giving. Um, and so I don't really know if, like, that's going to change between now and when actual Halloween -y season is. Um, these are, like, really crooked, but I think that's fine. So we're going to take this square box, stick it up there, and then I guess we're just going to take a washi strip and stick it in between these two things. And then up here we could take this yellow quarter box. Um, but yeah, so I'm just kind of, I'm excited but very nervous to see what the rest of this year is and specifically how, like, the holly jolly season is going to be. Is it even going to be jolly? Like, is spoopy season going to be more or less spoopy, you know? So, I don't know. We're just going to see how all of that plays out. Obviously, like, by the time you're watching this, like, the months have already passed. And that's one of the weird things about these plan with me's is that I film them so in advance that I have no idea what's gonna go like what's going on and I have tr trouble's the wrong word but essentially <laughs> trouble talking about um like what is going on currently because it, it is completely irrelevant by <laughs> the time these videos go live so I don't know we're just gonna we're just gonna see how this goes and hopefully it doesn't go as terribly as my brain is saying it will. So that was probably the worst decision ever of changing those two guys. And I'm like one box short of having this be completely like filled out the entire way through. So what would this date be? 26, 27, no, yeah, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 1. Okay, so I was going to say I could put a fill, fill do there, but I feel like that's the wrong comb to make. So we're just going to stick this flag right here. Okay, beautiful. Now the spread is done. And there is not as much left as I thought there would be in the kit. But, you know, close enough. This is actually really cute and I'm not mad about any of it besides, like, the incredibly crooked placement of the stickers. But that's not going to change because we just want to put stuff down to write stuff down. And the cuteness comes from the kit, not the placement. But whatever that's fine um anyway so let me go ahead and just flip through what we have left in the kit so I use like literally every single box on here only like half of the headers all of the checklists I feel like if I did pull in all of the full boxes I would have had a lot more functional boxes left but 
you know, win some, lose some. So there are those four guys. And then the like icons, some scripts, and any of that stuff down. So yeah, that is basically it for this spread. Don't forget to check out either my memory plan with me for this same week or my Instagram because that is where you will see this spread partially or completely filled out. So I know like it's kind of unsatisfying to see a spread and not have anything on it physically um but yeah that is basically it for this spread hopefully you guys enjoyed and as per usual let's just pause take a bit of a breather take a bit of a chill pill and deep breath in deep breath out and repeat after me i will make time for myself make time for yourself to relax grab some food and just generally take care of yourself whether it be like physically emotionally mentally all of that fun stuff just do whatever you need to do take whatever time you need to take to be the most amazing and sparkling human being and i'll catch you guys in the next one bye guys